This is our uh, members only session. First class is always free. We have our partner class at 12. Um, just, just a reminder, we'll be unpacking thoughts and feelings again uh, as related to wellness. And then for this session, we're talking void replacements. Before you run out of here, uh, when I get started with this, we're, we are going to talk about survival kit and void replacements and, and of course, the items in the shibby shop. But this is not a, a plug uh, per se. Uh, it's, just, it's just that a lot of those items are in there. But then we're going to get our worksheet out and work through grocery store void replacements, things that um, we need to consider swapping when we go to the grocery store. It's, it ends up all being about insulin control, uh, in my mind, by, from, a, from a biological, physiological standpoint. But how does a person lose fat? How does that happen? Let's forget our thoughts. Let's forget our emotions. Let's forget the overeating, undereating. Let, let's, let's just how, if, if I had 100% discipline and zeal, what do I need to be putting in my body and why so that I can lose the weight uh, or lose the body fat? Not even the word weight is relevant. It should be lose the body fat. So what, what do I do? And why do I do it? We know that it's about we know that it's about insulin control. Calorie surplus, too much insulin, you're gonna you're gonna put on fat like never before. And if you were ever like me and over 300 pounds, all those fat cells are still there. I can literally put on, I don't even know that members understand when they say, yeah, but it's easy for you or you've kept it off a long time. And it's, it's still, it's still, it's not a struggle relative to how other people in life struggle. But for me, it's always going to be a little bit of a struggle because I can put fat on so fast. Do you see? So the minute there's high levels of insulin in my system, my body doesn't even have to produce more fat cells. They're already there. It's just going to, Store, store, store. So controlling that insulin. Yes, calorie management, but controlling that insulin. Fat bus. Appetite goes through the roof. Fat storage takes place. Efficient fat burning stops for up to two days. We keep talking about this because it bears talking about. When you elevate your insulin levels, you, you, you can get your blood sugar down fast, but the insulin levels don't come down fast. They slowly taper. Like my blood sugar right now is all over the place. You can't see it because of the virtual background, but it's like that little bar there up and down and they're way below the line. See that little line? You can't see that. Let me show you. So you've got the the little purple line there below that line is your blood sugar is too low so what what i pulled off i took berberine for three days in a row and that's what happened to my blood sugar so some it does work so my blood sugar is way low right now um so when my blood sugar was when I was having fun trying to see what my glucose looked like when I was eating Reese, see how it went high? Went way up there. So when it went up there, notice how fast it comes down. Once I do the right things, look how fast it came down. My blood sugar just plummeted. But here's the, here's the thing. The insulin didn't, and we don't have a tool to measure that. The insulin, it, that growth hormone is going to stay up there. And now it's it when, once I start eating right again from that moment, I'm not spiking my blood sugar. The insulin begins to taper down. Sandy, are you listening? Because you're about to start your new life. So it starts tapering down. The blood sugar goes up and it comes down. The insulin is tapering down. 
But if you just do something because you're a grazer, let's say it's just a handful of combos, y'all not food combinations. Y'all know those combos, cheese filled pretzels. Let's say you just do a handful of those. Well, you're not in a calorie surplus and you didn't eat enough to get a huge spike of insulin, but you bumped it back up. You bumped your insulin back up. And we do this. We keep our levels of insulin up here. So we've got to live this perfect day philosophy. So when we bump them up, we let them come back down and we get them to a place where we can efficiently burn fat again. Does that make sense? And it's not about today. It's about the week, the month, the year. So if you're, if you're like most Americans, and let's say there's elevated insulin to a 10, like this thing gives me my average glucose rating. I know I'm all over. I'm getting a little too excited. So let me pause. Are y'all with me so far? Or am I rambling? But Terry says, good. So this is what, this is the mindset shift we have to have. We live so, it's good to live in the present. But when it comes to our biology, you're not changing anything internally today. It takes a long time physically. You can emotionally, spiritually change today and it's done. But physically, it's going to take a while. You've got to be consistent. And we get so caught up on I had a perfect day, but here's what was happening before Shibola. Let's say 10 is the highest level of insulin and then uh, five is, is in the middle and then there's zero. If you're averaging, continuously averaging insulin levels because you're a grazer, you're continuously averaging a nine throughout the year. That's a big deal. But what if you learn this and it's perfect day holiday and instead of averaging a nine all year, you end up averaging a four all year if we could assign a number to it. That's a huge difference, not just from your, your a fat loss standpoint, but from a longevity, from uh, preserving your mitochondria, all these things. And, and one of the things we do, it is not just with the shield, but it's finding void replacements. Because if it tastes good and I lose fat, if it tastes good and I control insulin, I found a winner. So a sandwich on white bread, boar's head ham, white bread, lettuce, tomato. That tastes like a good sandwich, but I spiked my insulin. Whereas if I switch that bread out to a negative two or negative three bread, Cheryl, then all of a sudden it tastes the same, but I have a lot less insulin impact or, or a lot less insulin. So that's a beautiful thing. I still had a great taste in sandwich. I can't tell the difference, but by making the swap, now I'm going to lose more body fat throughout the year. That applies not just to whole foods, but even our sweet treats. You can get in the fridge like mom and dad have up there. Dad loves those uh, hunky bars or whatever he calls them. Those little ice cream bar, ice cream with the chocolate, the uh, chocolate coating around it, whatever those are called. Brown cows. Why get a brown cow when you can get a Breyers Carb Smart? mock brown cow and control insulin levels better. Am I making any sense? So making sure that you know what those are for you and that's what's in your fridge, that's what's in your pantry, pantry, then it's just a matter of you focusing on what you can have and not on what you cannot have. So we're going to start with survival kit. Better have it and not need it than need it, not have it. Better need it, not have it, than need it. Better, what's, what did I say? Better need it, not have it. It's better to have it, not need it, than need it, not have it. <laughs> so in my survival kit, wherever I go, I know that I'm going to need some items in that survival kit if I don't want to have a holiday. Because I I am not strong enough most of the time to watch Sandy eat chips and I can't eat them. Sometimes I am, but most of the time not. I will rationalize and I will justify. And it's not that moment on the lips, a lifetime on the hips. 
It's not just then, it's for two days after that too. So I don't, I want to think about all that, unpack it. So in my survival kit, always an approved salad dressing, always uh, at least one, maybe two different types of approved chips, always a little snack, maybe some peanuts, maybe a power crunch bar. You gotta have those and then everybody needs to keep some bread with them. Negative two or negative three bread. A tortilla is my go-to. So if I go in a pizza place, if I go in a Mexican restaurant, if I go wherever I go, I'm equipped so that I don't give in. If, I, if I've gotta go for a long drive, I'm gonna have to stop and get gasoline. Well, if I don't have anything in my survival kit, I'm gonna go in that convenience store and I'm gonna get a Coke and I'm gonna get some combos or something. So have, having those things ready, maybe you like a baby Ruth, then what is your Shibboleth replacement for that, et cetera. All that's super important when you're trying to live a healthy lifestyle because you, you can't white knuckle it all the time. If you're watching your friends and family and whoever eat, you're gonna do it too. Mexican restaurant, if I don't have my chips with me, I always ask for bell peppers to dip in the salsa or cheese dip, but I usually have my chips, which is double bites. I always have double bites or Quest chips with me. You could use any of the approved chips. Just know how to use them within the bulletproof shield. I always have a salad dressing with me. Usually it's light Italian, which isn't my favorite, but it's shelf stable or Walden Farms calorie free of some type, either honey mustard or blue cheese. A lot of people say they don't like those, that Chipotle one, or they don't like them. It's because you haven't cultivated a taste. You're used to the sugary sweet stuff. Anybody knows that when you get away from the sugary stuff long enough, you can't even go back to it. It tastes so bad to you. But getting used to that more faint flavor uh, is just a compliment to your salad. But certainly if you're at a restaurant and you don't have, uh, you don't know what salad dressing to order, you better get light Italian. If they don't have light Italian, you're better off to get blue cheese with your salad. It's gonna be higher in calories, but at least you're not spiking your insulin levels. Does all that make sense? Does everybody have a go out strategy or is there something at a restaurant that you struggle with that we need to talk about? Good, good question. It, do you, you do you have a restaurant that has kicked you out? Um, I have never been told I can't have my survival kit at a restaurant. Never. If you have, let me know. I'll give them a call. I, but I get because to me it used to embarrass me a little bit, especially a man toting a pocketbook. <laughs> what in a pocketbook? But it looked like one. Especially you go out with a friend. He says, "For goodness' sakes, eat like a man." Uh, but it's just worth it once you get used to it. And I've never had anybody have a problem. I have been asked a time or two, what is that? And I explain, and I usually say I have a medical condition. <laughs> so a little, little Abraham type lie there. Yeah, I, it can be embarrassing, but you will get over that. We'll get over that. Anybody else, any questions about that part? There is a restaurant library uh, in the website, but it's to give you ideas. Every restaurant is approved. If you're trying to lose weight, what should you be having if you're on, having a perfect day at a restaurant? A four and a two. There's my brother, yep. It's all a four and a two. You're going to have meat, you're yeah. going to have a vegetable, unless you're having that holiday. Did I hear hey. somebody? Hey. No, I was just going to say, if it's a holiday, control your portions, and you'll still be better off. And you always have your hands with you, so you never have to have more portion. So sometimes it's just satisfying a taste, and two or three bites is enough. So you can fill a salad like with a lot of different stuff if you're at a buffet 
and still have portion control hollow meal. Anyway. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. If if on your so-called holiday, you still keep your daily calories less than your ideal weight times eight, you're not going to miss a beat. You'll go out of efficient fat burning, but you're not going to gain weight. You're not going to gain fat. Can you put walnuts in the hemp bar recipe? I don't see why not. I don't see why not. You just have to really control your portion with that. Yeah, chicken and veggies. So you, you're going to have, um, if you're trying to have a perfect day, you're going to have unbreaded meat and a vegetable. You can do that at any restaurant. Chick-fil-A, I'd, I'd have to go look in the library extensively. I don't think there's any other breaded and fried chicken you have. They have a pretty low-carb batter, so you can even have Chick-fil-A breaded chicken. That's a good thing. Yes, yes, you can have wings. Watch out for wings, okay? Um, if they have the, the sweet sauces, that's not approved. You're looking for the dry rubs, things that are low-carb, like dry rub seasonings. The teriyaki and stuff, that would be holiday. Bone-in, you don't want to get the ones that are breaded. Those aren't real chicken wings. Hey, Travis, what about, like, I know not the sweet sauces, but what about, like, a traditional buffalo-like hot sauce? That's still okay and approved, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, I use buffalo sauce a lot of times as my salad dressing, if that's all they got. That's pretty good, by the way. If you take some Walden Farms blue cheese that's calorie-free, it doesn't taste great, or the Bolt House, they're not the best but if you mix them, like drizzle both that and hot sauce on your salad, it's pretty darn good salad dressing. I was going to let people, local people know too. Um, I found out something that I did not know. The Chick-fil-A in Rome that has like the sit-down restaurant in it, they serve Brussels sprouts. You can go in there and have Chick-fil-A chicken with Brussels sprouts. Shoot, that's awesome. I did not know that. Awesome to know. Chick-fil-A Cobb salad, how do we make it approved? I think that I always take my dressing in, Gwen. I think they have light Italian. If they have light Italian, that's your go-to there. Like if you're getting French, I make my Catalina at home. Sometimes I'll take it with me because that's my favorite dressing, Catalina. But like that's high sugar if you're getting it at a restaurant or French dressing's high sugar. Got to stay away from those. If they don't have anything you like, and you just have to have a salad dressing, about the only thing you can go to is blue cheese because it's not high sugar, it's high calorie. No honey mustard, no, no, no honey mustard. At, no, you'd have to use your Walden Farms honey mustard. Honey mustard, two packs of honey mustard, exact speeds was 400 calories. Sugar. <laughs> Kiera just went, what? <laughs> yep. When they used to do the big packs, they would give you two big packs and it was 800 calories just for the dressing. What's an approved replacement for ranch? Um, I, I would, if there is no real replacement other than Walden Farms calorie free, I think they have several ranch. So they got like Chipotle ranch and it has no calories, but let's do this just so we know, Pamela, everybody, let's go take a look. The Bolt House Ranch, I think, is also um, approved. And it's actually pretty good. I'm like you. I like it with buffalo. Yeah. Um, to me, that flavor combination is just really good. And and it makes the, it, it makes the flavor of the ranch pop a little bit more than than it does. So it, I like it that way. I agree. It's actually pretty darn good. So here I put ranch. I just typed in ranch. So you have different ones here. Was that Pamela, I think, that asked? fit and active fat-free ranch dressing. You just have to try some, which is part of the fun of it. Hidden Valley fat-free ranch dressing, Kraft classic rat, uh, ranch dressing fat-free. So you got a ton of them. So if you know how to use the library, just go in there and, and type that in here, ranch, and see what you can come up with and just add those to your grocery list. Like another good thing to do, you see several you don't know anything about, 
one of the things is taking a look at the number of likes. So great value, fat-free ranch dressing and dip, 78 likes. I'm going to heart it, and then I'm going to add it to my grocery list. And you can add as many of those to your grocery list as you want. That way, when you go in that grocery store, you're not going in as an empty canvas. You're on a mission, and you can see which ones they have and buy a couple of them and try them. I get that people are on a budget. I understand all that, but we waste so much money on stuff. This is your life. And once you find, you invest in three or four and you don't like them, okay, you wasted 15 bucks. But now you've got one that you like that you can have the rest of your life. Do we still have the library on the app? I don't know, sister. We are because It of, is still on the app. It is on the app. I yep. know we're not updating the app now. We lost our, our web developer, but thankfully we have kept our website, our main website developer, and our website is mobile friendly. So I can actually go to the, the library and put a short link on my phone and click it and go right to the library. So hopefully, like uh, Kiara said, the, the app is still working. And as long as it works, it's there. But um. once it's down, I don't have I don't have the ability to keep it going. The reason Karen I Klein that, said that uh she liked the the ranch with sour cream. Mm -hmm. That the recipe in the uh in our tools yeah. that uses cottage cheese and you can mix it with Greek yogurt for that tang and zizz it up with some of that Hen Valley ranch powder. It's mm -hmm. really good. And you can use way more of it than you can of those other approved dressings because it's it's high protein and, and low fat. Yeah. And here I just typed in dressing and you'll find all kind of dressings like Kiara is talking about. There's six pages. Now, some of these aren't dressings, but it might be dressing and giblet gravy recipe. But you'll find like Brenda's jalapeno ranch dip. Uh, you'll find... Um, different dressings like Catalina, like Russian. Like if I type in Catalina in the recipe section, there's two different recipes. 126 likes for the MCT Catalina. So that that's good in our little group. So that's probably a pretty tasty one. So you've got plenty of options there. Don't ever, don't overlook your library because a lot of times those thoughts and feelings, what happens? We feel what? Neglected. Or not neglected, but like, uh, what? what's the word I'm looking for? Um, FOMO. Yeah, FOMO and deprived. There's never, if you're, if you're here and you want to change, listen to these folks. There's nothing you can't have. We've just got our blinders on. We're focused on what we can have, not on what we cannot have. All right. Now, any questions, comments about any of that before we jump over and talk about void replacements and then try to make time to pull out our void replacement worksheet? Okay, so we put the Shibby Shop together with the hard to find items and I'm gonna run through how to use them. The reason they're here is because I was consuming them or eating them way before I was trying to teach anything because these changed my life. These processed foods changed my life. Well, how can you say such a thing? Well, I wouldn't stop eating my hamburger helper. I wouldn't stop eating pancakes. I wouldn't stop eating mac and cheese. So I found void replacements that were lesser evils that helped control my blood sugar. And most of the products that are in the store, remaining in the store, they were made for folks who had went through weight loss surgery, but they're pretty tasty because you're getting the protein you need without the insulin impact. AHS cheesesteak pasta, AHS fettuccine, and mac and cheese. Big difference, cheesesteak pasta, less, less uh, calories. Therefore, we can have up to two packs as a meal or one pack as a perfect pairing item. I can have lean protein beside one pack of that on a plate, and that's a delicious feeling meal. I can put one package of that over my double bites. That's always fun. Two packs is a meal. The fettuccine and mac and cheese, 
Again, perfect pairings. You can have one pack with uh, any lean protein, but I like to turn it into hamburger helper or uh, like this fettuccine. I'll take one pack and uh, take some lump crab meat and I'll have uh, crab alfredo. I'll take those little salad shrimp, shrimp alfredo. Those things are good to do like that. 96% uh, lean ground beef and my mac and cheese. Only one package of those though. Two packages is too much with those two. Then you've got your pancakes. My favorite are AHS. Some people like the other ones, the health wise better. I like these. I, I don't just use them as a perfect pairing item with egg whites or eggs or by themselves. If you, if you, if you want just pancakes, two packages with approved syrup and a little butter spray, delicious, nutritious breakfast in the morning, but I like to use them as little pigs, <laughs> pigs in the blanket. I'll take the Hebrew National Franks and cut them up and two or three of the pancakes and roll them up and put syrup on it. I love that. It's delicious. And it's not like eating regular pancakes. It tastes like regular pancakes, but you don't have to worry about the, the insulin impact. Another thing I like to do, I remember somebody in the thread mentioned walnuts. Take some pecans or walnuts and throw in the batter. Oh, it gives those pancakes a delicious, delicious texture. Then you got Carbolite. This is your ice cream replacement. We have more than 60, I think, ice cream replacements, but you can only have like a half a cup up to a cup of those. With Carbolite, you can have a cup and a half up to two cups as an ice cream replacement, and you still haven't had anything that's going to hurt you. It tastes to me like homemade ice cream or snow cream. Chocorite pecan clusters and peanut butter patties. I had to find something to replace my, my pecan clusters, bear claws, and uh, my Reese's. And they've upgraded th these. These taste a lot better. I liked them before. I love them now. You can have, they're bigger now, so you can't have six anymore, but you can have four of those as a snack or four of the pecan clusters as a snack. If you don't need four, don't eat four. They're full of fiber. They're gonna help control appetite. They're very satisfying. I like to take the peanut butter patties and make me a, a mock Sonic Blizzard at home. I'll take one of the approved vanilla protein shake mixes, three cubes of ice, Egg Whites International, throw two or three of those in there, blend it up, and it's like a Reese's Blast. Coco Ringa, nothing wrong with it. It's like the perfect hot chocolate full of antioxidants, amazing uh, amazing healthy ingredients. It's organic. I don't know if they labeled it organic, so I'll just say it's clean. Uh, this is a rich, dark, dark chocolate I use as a snack episode or a meal if I'm being particularly uh, strict with myself. Many times that's the only breakfast I'll have. I might mix it with over here bio coffee. It's got wheatgrass, no caffeine. Bile coffee is great for those experiencing low blood sugar. Like I'm experiencing a low blood sugar episode right now because I've had too much. I've eaten correctly for the last 24 hours and I've had too much, uh, too, too much berberine and carbies. So uh, with, with this, that would get my blood sugar up a little bit without spiking my insulin too bad. Might be something I do right after this session. But uh, you can also mix it with your cocoa ringa or health wise hot chocolate makes for a delicious meal episode if you're trying to keep it light double bites and approved chip i love these with approved chili over top little little shredded cheese i love it at the mexican restaurant dip, dipped in my salsa one package is a snack fiber gourmet biscotti bites are pretty darn clean not perfectly clean but pretty clean a handful is a snack, or you could even say an extra. You could have a handful, and it wouldn't even count as your snack. Uh, I like to use some peanut butter, and then it becomes a snack. Fiber gourmet pasta. Thank you, Karen, for getting these in for all of us. I've missed them. Uh, the fiber gourmet pasta is outstanding. It's it's uh, any recipe that calls for pasta, you can switch it. There's other pastas too, but you can switch it. Always safe to switch it for the fiber gourmet pasta. Do watch your portion. Has a lot of starch, but the starch is countered by all of that fiber and it tastes more like real pasta. If you overeat it, you'll end up with too heavy of a blood sugar spike 
but if you stick with our portions, you won't. And it's more filling. Fiber Gourmet Thinnable Crackers, they got the plain crackers and these that has the cinnamon on them. I like a handful of those as a snack or with a tablespoon of peanut butter for a snack. Uh, those are really good. The plain ones, I like to eat my cheese and crackers with them. I like to have them with a salad. I like to have them with my spaghetti, all kinds of ways. I like to have them with a uh, avocado. Mom brought me, she wasn't going to eat it. And she brought these little serving size packages of guacamole. And I, I took the fiber gourmet crackers out and just dipped them in it. My blood sugar actually went down on my continuous glucose monitor. So you've got Scandinavian fiber brand crisp. This is always in my survival kit. They've got the raisin one. They've got the, uh, the sunflower one. They got the plain one. They all work. The raisin one, really good with peanut butter as a snack. These are actually a, an extra kind of a freebie. You don't need to eat them endlessly, but you're never going to get in trouble with them. I will, if I'm, if I'm in a snacky mood, I'll take fat-free cheese and melt over top, have like a little cheese toast and call it an extra if it's fat-free cheese. Uh, fat-free cream cheese and berries, that's also good on them. That's an extra, doesn't have to count as a full snack. Health Lies Hot Chocolate has always been a go-to for me. Heavy in protein, preserved muscle. One package is an extra. Again, I'm a little more uh, tough with myself. So I will have it mixed with something like cocoa ringa or a protein powder and call it a meal episode. Hemp bars, the most nutritious hemp bar in the world are these. Uh, everything in there is clean. One third of that 12 inch hemp bar counts as a meal replacement. Hemp hearts are category six, a great as a condiment to restore regularity, but as well, um, it's great to replace meat on those days you're trying to be plant-based. This is the healthiest, in my estimation, the healthiest plant food on planet Earth. Hemp flakes, just a lower calorie version of hemp hearts. They're, they count as a one plus two or a condiment. I eat a lot of hemp flakes. I eat probably more hemp flakes than hemp hearts. I'll take the hemp flakes and, and put it on a salad. So sometimes my salad is no meat, a lot of leafy greens, some cherry tomatoes, some bell peppers, some cucumbers, uh, a little approved cheese. And then I'll use this as my protein replacement. And I'll use three to five tablespoons of them. High protein oatmeal, a perfect pairing item. So you have a couple of scrambled eggs with one package of that, that's a perfect pairing. Uh, egg whites is even better with that. Uh, any lean protein you can have with your high protein oatmeal or you can have two packages of it if you like plain, if you like uh, flavored oatmeal. Two packages is an approved meal. But, and, and you could use a pack as a snack. Um, oatmeal, we're, we've been told our entire lives it's good for us. It is not good for us. Regular oatmeal is not good for somebody trying to lose weight. Steel cut oats, not too bad, but the Quaker stuff isn't great, even though we've approved some of it. This is a much better alternative if we're looking at our yearly insulin levels. High protein soup is a staple of mine. I try to eat one to two eating episodes a day, but if I get hungry, then I'll have two, three, four packs of that soup. It's never going to hurt you. One package of that soup is an extra, uh, but I'll make I can make a meal out of out of three packages of it. It's also a great perfect pairing item. When I say perfect pairing item, we need to do a full class on that. But just let me give you the short math. Anytime you hear me say great perfect pairing item, that means you can have one serving of whatever it is with any lean protein. And that's it for the Shibby Shop void replacements. Any questions on those before we take a look at our worksheet? I was just going to say, after doing the um, the detox diet, I found that I do like how you suggested the hip parts with peanut butter. Mm -hmm. That, to me, is so much better. And, and, it, and it's so filling more so than having two tablespoons of peanut because I, I love peanut butter. I do. 
And and it especially as much as I travel, it's a go-to. It's something simple that I can throw together on the bus and I don't have to keep it cold. And and now I've found I keep a big thing of, of peanut butter and a bag of hemp parts. So I can mix them and make a peanut butter sandwich. And it and it stay to me it sticks with you longer than just having peanut butter. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Would it help y'all, Lisa? I'm getting us in trouble. It just dawned on me that would it help y'all to take for me to take all those perfect pairing items and and show you that there's like 200 meal I won't give you 200 yet but there's like 200 I've I've come up with like 200 meals just using those perfect pairing items would that help that would yeah. be awesome that would be a definite print out and stick in my pocket believe it or not every one of them are coach mode meals I had forgotten about doing that years ago because I was living off that stuff, but I would have my chicken with it or I'd have my pork tenderloin with it. So like pork tenderloin mac and cheese, delicious. Um, there's there's a gazillion of those perfect pairing meals. That if you could focus on those, you probably drop three, four pounds a week. I'll come up with those for you. You got it. Maybe I'll put it in a cook, one of those Meal idea books and sell it. <laughs> I need money. <laughs> awesome. Any questions, comments before we move to the board replacement worksheet? All right. So I'm going to pull that up. Yeah, thank you, Karen. Again, special thanks always. If I ever forget, it's because I'm looking at a clock. I, Y'all, our partners, our Faithfully Fit members, Karen, the sacrifices everybody's making to keep this mission going, I just hope you know you're appreciated. I literally, to get through my days, I just have to not think about it because I get all thoughts or all lies all the time. And uh, I'm like, what if I let all these people try so hard down? And uh, I just appreciate what y'all are doing to keep this mission alive. Appreciate every one of you. Cheryl, you know I appreciate you. Y'all are blessing. All right. So let's go to uh, void replacements. I'm going to digital worksheets, resources, digital worksheets. Let me see if this is the one I want. Okay. There's several void replacement worksheets. We'll use this one. I haven't used this one, but there's several. What I would like for y'all to consider doing is in this worksheet, this is the void replacement one, and I've created a new one. Foods I should give up, temptations, what are their void replacements? Because once you can come up with that, you've identified that, hey, there are replacements. Then you're not stuck in your head, like thinking I'm missing out. So we'll do just a few before we go today, and then I'm going to get ready for the other class. So, Lisa, do you see joys? So, foods I should give up and temptations. What is something that you're really struggling with? And be specific. Two or three of you help me out. Is there a particular chip, Sally? Sally says chips. I'm not familiar with that. Is that like a kettle chip or something? Kettle. Kettle chip. Okay. What else? Anybody else? Hey, Travis, I know I'm running my mouth all day today, no, but no. I never get to come. So I'm I'm excited. I never get to be in here live. I have, I have to watch reruns. Um, my husband, his he's he's the one, he's the world's worst. When I tried to give him anything, like he's like, uh-uh, no, no, but he's on board now. And one thing we have found that he loves is he loved nutty bars like little debbie the little nutty bar wafer yep. bars mm -hmm. the robert irvine's fit crunch wafer mm -hmm. bars yeah 
holy smokes. They're like a nutty bar. I mean, you close your eyes and you're eating a fresh nutty bar. And and he for my husband to say he loves it, that means it's really good. Yep. Yep. Those are really good. Yeah, I like those too. Well, what you said earlier was very helpful. I think it's Sierra about the um, peanut butter. So thank you for talking. <laughs> <laughs> Adding the hemp flakes. That was very helpful. Thank you. I'm getting all kind of stuff here. Ice cream. Okay. So y'all have named some. Now let's take a look at a couple like chicken wings. Maybe you're struggling with the portions because chicken wings are approved. Does that make sense? Well, help help us out with like, you said you're struggling with chicken wings because this is the thing. We have to be good at finding solutions. And, and that's what the Lord did. We had a spiritual void. He filled the void. Anytime, I think many of us struggle with the following. We sweep and garnish the room. Y'all know the parable. We get the demons out, right? But we leave the room clean, swept, and void, and then more demons come back, right? So we have to fill that void. So without filling that void, so we're finding solutions, and we have to be open-minded to those solutions. When you're when it's a brand, somebody said M and M's. Let me put that in here. M and M's. I seen flash up. M and M's. Watch this. M&M's, cinnamon rolls. Okay, first of all, all of this stuff, can we have it on our program? Can we have it? Yes. If you are in maintenance, you could have these 12 times a month. Is that enough? We don't expect to eat it every day, do we? So, sometimes... It's not a void. It's a problem, right? Something's become our God. It's, it's, no, it's not a void. It's a problem. You're branded. You're like cattle. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. We're like cattle, and we've got the, we've got the Yellowstone brand on us. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, the, uh, I think it was Cheryl that said M&M's. Atkins, and there's others too, not just Atkins. Atkins has a great m and &M. It tastes like it. Stover has one. I'm sorry? Russell Stover has a really good, they have the chocolate ones and there's peanut ones, I think. Russell Stover, m mm and -hmm. sugar-free. So here's my question, everybody, to get you to thinking. So Cheryl has likes m and &Ms. Atkins and Russell Stover's Taste the same. Hold on, let me check something. Quest, Quest has good M and M's also. That's right, Charles. I forgot Quest M and M's. Oh, it's not typing now. And a lot of times you can find them uh, readily available, at like WalMarts and stuff. I know they carry them. Yeah. That's where I have gotten them before. Y'all hearing all that? So. The only reason that we would choose the others is because they're cheaper. They're cheaper and they're more readily available and we're branded. Are y'all with me? That's the only reason you would do that. And if you've done it over and over and over that you're branded. So we have to stop doing that. We've got to think differently or we're going to get slaughtered by the Yellowstone. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're just going to slaughter us. Saving every time you eat M&Ms, it may be five, it may be one minute of mouth pleasure. Technically, it may be a full minute of mouth pleasure by the time you add up the time you're enjoying it. But is that worth two days of your journey? Is, is that worth decreasing your, your longevity? Your mental health, is that worth it? I don't think so. These other items, you're going to be able to control your insulin. And we just ascertained there's many different ones. So it's a branding. If, if we need to eat these types of things more than 12 times a month when we get into maintenance, even more than six, we have a problem. 
And that's when we have to go to the Lord and look at this thing from a behavioral standpoint. If you have a normal void, you've got things to fill that void. Ice cream. Do we have ice creams that we could write in here? Blue Bunny Sweet Freedom Ice Cream. Halo Top. Is Halo Top not good? It tastes good to me. The homemade, the Carbolite homemade ice cream. We have delicious ice creams that can replace the ice cream. Cinnamon roll. Now, I get that going to Cinnabon, we're not going to beat Cinnabon, right? I know we're not going to beat that. But have you tried the legendary sweet rolls heated up? They're delicious. They're fabulous. You can even take the legendary uh, sweet roll and heat that up a little bit and then heat up a little Walden Farms uh, cream sauce and put on top of it. Oh my goodness, that thing's good. So we've got things that we can control our insulin with. French fries is already allowed. Now, if you're wanting the French fries at a restaurant where you can't prepare them and you know they're cooking them in, you know, it's McDonald's French fries, yeah, that's a holiday. So there is no void replacement. No, I'm at McDonald's and I want their French fries that they've taken the potato, dipped it in brown sugar and fried it in vegetable oil and put salt on it. And they're trying to kill me and trying to make me addicted. There's no void replacement. That's a holiday. But my point is you get holidays. If you're looking for a French fry at home, that's easy. It's, not, it's easy to make French fries at home. Approved. We just have to eat them in the right combination. If you want a void replacement for them, what about jicama? Have you tried jicama? Have you tried butternut squash fries? Do you see? Nutty Buddies, it's already been brought up. A Robert Irvine. I don't know if Karen and I will be able to get them, but um, bariatrics, they have those delicious wafer bars. Those uh, high-protein wafers, they were one of my favorite morning things I would have that. Do y'all remember what I'm talking about, the Shibboleth wafer? I would have that with a cup of cocoa ringa, satisfying feeling. It was like having a nutty bar for breakfast with a with a hot chocolate. Man, that's good. Those are is the wafer bars. Y'all know what I'm talking about? The vanilla. Some people's forgotten about them. The Robert Irvine, they're not going to be quite as good as those from a weight loss perspective, but they taste great. Chicken wings, you already have chicken wings. You Maybe the struggle is the portions, but you can already have chicken wings. Y'all know that, right? You just can't have the teriyaki sauces and things like that at the restaurant. You have to have a dry rub or a hot sauce. Lay's potato chips, it's hard to replace that. I'll give you that. But once you get used to it, you won't like Lay's. What about Quest chips? What about Bonitos? What about Double Bites? What about some of those? So this is a worksheet. I know we're out of time, but this is a worksheet for you to work through. And us all, this is not an admonition. When I point at you, I got three pointing back at me. This is, a, this is an opportunity for us to start taking life seriously, taking care of our temple. You know, the only time I can find that Jesus got angry was when he went to the temple and he said, you have turned the temple into a, uh, a den of thieves and it's supposed to be a house of prayer. And he ran all the thieves out of there. You're not the thief, but this is your temple. And inside of your temple, Many things have made its home there that shouldn't be there, and it's time for you to drive them out. I believe I just told you some truth. I do believe that weight is a thief, and it has uh, certainly robbed me of a lot, and I'm thankful to be reversing that. I'm sorry I had to skip out on class earlier. I heard you say, Cindy, this is for you. Uh, I don't know if you're talking to me, Cindy, or somebody else, Cindy, but I know it's for me, so I'll go back and find it. But uh, but not to be all doom and gloom, but just to be truth. I mean, just hard fact truth. Weight is it's a thief. And so I'm thankful that God has come in uh, more focused here 
and turned over that table. Amen. Amen. He wants us to have life and have life more abundantly. And nothing, we think the father's angry at us and he is not. Nothing makes a parent angrier than someone to take advantage of their children. If you can shift how you're thinking, like most of my problems have been, boy, God's mad at me. And I have discovered through prayer, through revelation, God's not angry at me. God loves me. And my parents, I'm 53 years old, but I'm still their baby. And if you do me wrong, and I'll say to my parents, I'm the one that did wrong. They don't see that. They see, but you this you don't understand what we see. We know your nature and we know blah, blah, blah. But see, God knows your true nature. He knows you wouldn't do these things if it weren't for the enemy coming to steal, kill, and destroy. But he needs you as, he needs you as a free moral agent since you're not, you know, mom and dad, if I was their baby, they could protect me, right? I could protect my daughters. I've run into the same thing lately. Someone might say, well, this daughter did the wrong thing. I know her nature. If that, if that punk boy, sorry, if I hadn't let him in, if I could have got rid of him, you, you see what I'm saying? So God looks at us and he's like, De the devil's a punk. And he's preying on their weaknesses. And I'm the one that made them weak so that my glory might be man. It takes weakness for strength to be known. And he's preying upon them. He's preying upon the thing that I find beautiful, their weakness. That ought to give you cold chills. You're not a bad person. God is very angry and he wants to drive out the den of all the thieves that have set up in our temples. Is matcha powder a freebie and could I have it with coca ring? I have to look that up. Wade is a thief. Amen. Green tea. Um, it looks like most of them are no calories, so it would be a freebie. Does that make sense? So you could add it to whatever you want. Green tea, green, green tea can help your metabolism. Um, it, it it has a lot of antioxidant properties in it, so certainly. Hey, Travis. Hey. Uh, a while ago, Cindy said, uh, Wade is a thief. Thank you, Cindy, because... I put a go-to error. For me, it e equals that it is a thief of health, the positive self-image, freedom and liberty, victory, energy, and trendy clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. So thank you, Cindy. I was just thinking the same thing. And joy. Oh, and peace. Joy. And peace. <laughs> yes, peace ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My two God-given words for the year. <laughs> if you think about it, it also it really steals pretty much all the fruits of the spirit. True. It steals patient. I mean, it mm -hmm. really does steal patient because you get you get impatient. You get you know what you worry about everything. You know, it, it steals all of the fruits of the spirit. Yep. I pass out before the next 12 o'clock. Thanks, because I just took another burp. <laughs> no, quit doing that. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm hooked on my, I told y'all I'm an extremist. Everything I do, good or bad, I want to see what does my pleasure. <laughs> well, when you pass out during your noon, you'll find out. <laughs> Travis proved it works. <laughs> Thank you. I will take some with me on the cruise June 3. <laughs> It works. I'm shocked at how well it works. All right. So we're getting ready to close this one out. Head to the, are y'all, are, are we doing better every week? Are we learning stuff? Are we yep. being mindful? 
any suggestions, anything I can do to improve the program, your experience with the resources I have? All right. We appreciate y'all at 12 o'clock. I don't think I'll send out another text. Thank you, Sally. It means a lot. Thank you, everybody. Um, I don't think I'll send out another text. I think I was getting running pretty low on those texts. Um, but I did send it out earlier, the 12 o'clock. Everybody's welcome. First class is free for non-partners. Uh, we want you to see what it's all about. We're going to continue working through our thoughts, feelings, and emotions. And I think uh, we'll be talking a lot about faith and what is faith today, but a deeper dive into that. Uh, so, yep, we'll, uh, we'll have fellowship at 12 o'clock. Come ready to, I won't make you speak, but I hope the mindset is a, one that you're, you're fellowshipping and interacting and ready to answer questions. There's no wrong answer. We're, the well is deep, and we're digging deep in the well. Brother Charles and Sandy, I've seen that, Charles. Thank goodness. Uh, tomorrow at 1 o'clock, uh, we'll be doing public coaching of Charles and Sandy. They're starting with the 24-day jump start. Uh, we will be helping other people with weekly weigh-ins and accountability. Uh, I've gotten lots of requests to follow along with them. But we're also doing some back-end data. So the only way that you can do that and be a part of the weekly weigh-ins, uh, because it is a lot of time, it's a big commitment, uh, because I'll be meeting with folks just like if you were coming into the center and letting you weigh in, but you have to do it just like they're doing it. You have to do the 24-day jump start, and that includes a detox. So, And they're just eating the first few days simple things like grilled cheese and peanut butter sandwiches. So if it's something you really want to do and you want to be a part of that data so that after 12 weeks we have the data on the program, then uh, I'm, I'll pair you up with somebody that's interested and that will be your battle buddy and then you will have weekly weigh-ins. Any questions or comments? There won't be public coaching. That's Charles and Sandy. Be private. Questions or comments? Thank you. Thank you, Patricia. I appreciate you all. We'll close out in a quick word of prayer. And I'll see some of you at noontime. If you're interested in that, um, let Lisa know, because we would have to have a, a quick like orientation with you and your battle buddy. And we'll pair you up and we'll get going, get going with it uh, right along with Sandy. Doesn't have to start tomorrow. They're going to be doing this. Uh, for they better be for at least 12 weeks shibby vitamins are fine you can do shibby vitamins if you still have the awesome vitamin we, we're not able to make them anymore but they're still a good one a day good budget friendly one a day all right our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven Give us this day, Lord, our daily bread. Forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. All right. Bye, y'all.